continuing a focus on anti-Semitism now, Home Secretary James Cleverly says he suspended staff over a scandal which saw a five-month-old baby's birth certificate defaced. The row erupted after a Jewish father found the document, which had been sent to the passport office, had been returned ripped with his birthplace, birthplace of Israel scratched out. Cleverly has ordered an urgent review and has said that while the facts are being established, staff have been suspended. The father, however, says his family were not told personally of the suspensions, but is in contact with a lawyer and planning to sue the individuals responsible. Now, the campaign against anti-Semitism, who urged the Home Office to investigate in the first place, says it has a responsibility for law enforcement and the security of the Jewish community. Um, I'm slightly, despite everything I've just said and how passionately I feel about these issues, I, I'm really not sure that this is necessarily one of the issues that we're talking about here. It, you know, it's not a great look, your birth certificate arrived or a marriage. So once had a driving licence arrived, it was pretty much scrawled up. You know, the documents do get damaged in the post. I can't explain why somebody with a biro rubbed out the word Israel. They didn't do it to any of the other family members on the birth certificate. Well, it might odd, have been... because the dad's name was Israel. His dad's name was so Israel. So why, why it, wasn't it... that scrolled out as well? Well, indeed. I mean... So, I, you know, I wonder... Of course, could it have been some anti-Semitic nutter in the... Yes, it could yeah. have been. On balance, it just looks like some kind of clerical blunder, but we don't really know yet. I'm a Quite bit dramatic moved of cleverly to, to suspend by people from yeah. I, I'm on, I am slightly unmoved by this story. Um, I don't think that the father, the parents, you know, should be trying to sue anyone over it. Look, it's not end of days. You can get another birth certificate quite easily. You can get duplicates. You can get a new one. Mm. I, I think it was worth reporting, but, you know, the whole kind of massive outrage over it, yeah, it's not great. Some idiot, perhaps, at worst. It's not some huge conspiracy. I, Daisy? I, I, I completely agree with you both, but I think if this has happened at any other time, it wouldn't obviously Correct. have, ha have right. got yep. the coverage it's got. It's that, you know, we must be aware that the Jewish community feels very, very under attack I at get the moment. That. And yeah. so there are <coughs> very, very heightened sensitivities. Probably not easy being called Israel right now, It's either. not yeah. easy being called Israel. It's not easy, you know, I mean, as, as JJ knows, you've got very close uh, friends within the Jewish community and the numbers speak for themselves, the numbers of anti-Semitic attacks. I mean, we were talking earlier this week about the Amy Winehouse sculpture yeah. that's had that's had the Star of David, uh, you know, with a Palestinian sticker over it. I mean, and those literally don't mm. hurt anyone, but they hurt feelings. But there are more attacks going on, you know, shots are being attacked and so on, and people do feel very under threat. Yeah, I, I'm with Isabel and Ian. I don't think this is an anti-Semitic um, attack. However, for the Jewish community who are under attack currently, I think Cleverly's done the right thing. He should have investigated it. Mm. I'm glad he suspended the people. I'd like to know who. I'd like to know the names when we find out what happened and who did it. I would like him to announce those names because I think there's yeah. a sense. There is a sense in this Fine. country at the moment that it's Islam or followers of Islam versus the Jewish community. And actually, from what, I'm, what, what my friends tell me, it's not just people, it's not, it's not followers of Islam going around throwing eggs at their doors. Right. They're seeing white, white people right. doing that as well. We've been on the marches, yeah. Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. The, we're seeing middle class white people on these marches. Yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah, it's not just one, one demographic. But, but also, I feel that that's what's being pitted yeah. now. On, on the specifics of a birth certificate, it's an official document. Nobody should be defacing it. So mm -hmm. that in itself would be, I would imagine, if nothing else, an internal offence that you grab your biro, even if you thought it was an error and thought, oh, I've got the name Israel twice here, yeah. place of birth and name, I'll scribble it out. Yeah. I mean, that should be, you should be told, frankly, you're in the wrong department, mate. So yeah. you can't yeah. work here. I don't necessarily think it means you're an anti semite But these, but these yeah. kind of uh, mi relatively minor incidents, I mean, if it is anti-Semitism, that's a disgrace of and course. it should be fired, but it might be a mistake. But these kind of minor incidents uh, are going to hit the press uh, more and more and yeah. more because you've got an entire Jewish community, only 270,000 of them in this, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in a country of 70 million. Uh, you know, I, I sort of live among them up in northwest London, near Golders Green, some of my neighbours. I've got neighbours who are probably 65 years old. They live, they're British, of course. These are British citizens. Mm -hmm. They've lived here all their life. They're thinking of leaving the country. But I, I mean, this is really, extraordinary. I think something yeah. really bad is going to happen it really soon. Is. I really do, because I think these extremists are getting very emboldened. Sorry. When, when anti-Semitism flares up in countries, it's a signal that they're falling apart at the seams. I give you Nazi Germany.